and welcome back to the third part so with the third part I'm gonna close that because we need to start with the design of the interface for all these forms so I'm gonna start with start with this that's the, the doctors okay move this aside somewhere there so for this doctors interface I'm gonna need as follows and there's some labels labels let's try that again and then we're gonna need text box okay we're gonna need about 16 of these so let's enhance the size of the font first let's come in here and just So let's go for maybe 24. Right. Okay. And maybe I should even put them in. Yeah, let's put them in the frame. So I'm going to copy this to just bang it in there. Move it up. So let's go for 8 each on, the, on both sides. Okay, I have eight on this side. I'm now going to copy it across. Let's come in there and make room. Yeah, let's click, hold, and draw and drag. There. So let's increase the size of that. There we go. Okay, let's try and finish up with this interface. So this one is going to be known as Doctor's Reference Number. The next one is going to be Doctor's NHS number. So I think I'm going to have to speed this up and get back to you guys. Okay, I've finished designing the the interface for each of the forms. Okay, that's how the doctors look like appointment. I think I'm going to copy this across and patience let's come in here just drag this down paste that in there and just change it around for patience let's come in here and change that to patient there we go that's fine and the next one is payment and change that to payment as well Do we need to move these down a little bit? Yeah. And that is famous right there. Okay. I think there's one left, the doctor. Let's take care of the doctor then we take it from there and change that to doctor all right let's run it and see make sure it's saved and come in here run enter the correct details this time around to save time and there we go doctor yep and let's see patient payment pharmacy appointment okay well this exit is now working so in the case of the exit we need to find a way to 
maybe we should just copy the content we have inside exit yeah let's come straight to the exit and copy that right here come right down double click on that copy all of this and let's go to doctor come right here double click on doctor paste appointment double click on that paste patient double click and paste there yeah. payment double click and paste then finally pharmacy okay double click and paste all done all of the exit is taken care of right okay now that the exit is taken care of let's come in here you see all of these components we need to give them all a name so like this one has no number so I'm gonna call has no name I mean I'm gonna call that txt reference number and I'll repeat the same for all because I intend to use it all for something so that whatever data we enter in there is actually stored on a spreadsheet so come in here give this a name as well right name of tablet and this one will be txc those yeah so i'm going to speed that up and get back to you guys shortly okay every single single component here now has a name so the next thing i like to do is you see the the very spreadsheet for login i think i'm going to enter all the details in here so if i come in here enter the details for the doctor and that's going to be on my spreadsheet one let me show it to you this is sheet number one so sheet number two i can use that for another for the second form and so on so let's create sheet number two but this is sheet one so whatever reference i make will be to sheet one so what i'm going to do now is you see this very one i'm going to add a button and just run it let's come in here let's create a button here so drag this down and I'm going to copy one of these buttons and this one I'm going to call it CMP add add to to sheet yeah. and this one is going to be add to sheet or add to workbook add to let's see oh we can just so I'm, I will move this one off. I'll just say to workbook. Okay. Yeah. To workbook. There. And rearrange the whole lot. This is going to be on, on top. Okay, if I have any other thing I can just add it below so that is it to work book we can so now let's double click on to workbook so because what we need is because we need to be able to call the very first workbook I'm going to declare a variable there so I'll call that variable work as worksheet right so let's declare another one dim add new as range 
we're going to need the ring as well then set work equals sheet one so the very sheet one that I'm referring to is the one I showed to you guys earlier which is right here this very one that's the sheet one that I'm referring to now okay so set adding equals worksheet dot let's take it from the range the range that I'm going to specify will be 65,000 let's make that A from rule A 65,000 356 and just close that dot end and let's ask it to go up x up close that and make sure it's offset by one comma zero there we go now I'm going to add my very first component so that's going to be we we'll say add add new dot offset zero comma zero okay that's for the very first one and dot value so what is my value I'm gonna say I think it's txt let's see what's the name of that the value is txt doctor reference number okay so that will click on workbook txt doctor reference number dot text so that's the very first one so what I'll do is just copy this around I have 16 in total and just change the numbers and the names so this one is going to be 1 that's 2 and that is 3 so all I just need to do now is to get the names of each component this is number two copy that that's doctor's NHS number go right inside the code and change that then followed by the next one as first name I think it's followed by surname good let's go in there again and surname I guess you guys get the whole idea I'm now gonna speed that up and get back to you okay guys the first lot of the code that we store the value whatever we entered and the system is taken care of so what I'm gonna do now is let's double click on that run the program and see now there isn't much time so I'm gonna enter the right value instead of playing around and go to doctor right in there that's the doctors so let's enter some data in there doctors reference number the R NHS doctors number name who is the doctor let's say yeah why not Paul Omen medical center let's go for Carlton Carlton Vale and address of the center 
legs road postcode medical center reference name or reference number telephone number second telephone number fax number email address we are at gmail.com patient NHS number EM whatever number GP reference and patients whatever there we go so all we need to now do is just add that straight onto the spreadsheet so let's see if I come in here add and uh, that's it to, uh, to workbook there we go so let me see my workbook here that's the workbook so first thing first maybe I should exit so that I can get a workbook so notice everything in here so let's come in here okay right here guys you see that's those are the information on the workbook All right so have a good look at it so let's add more information and you guys see that I think I may have left patient ID out All right so let's add more information so back in here doctor's reference NHS reference name let's call that Tony P ID right add to workbook so I can even add it one how many times I like but I have to exit first before we can view it yes exit so let's come into the spreadsheet itself I think it's here somewhere there we go look at that you see that's how you add all the information you collected straight onto your spreadsheet okay let's repeat exactly the same thing for patient form and in here I'm going to save that straight into sp uh, spreadsheet workbook 2 so let's see what we've done so far first of all I'm going to have to exit from here exit yeah and let's see spreadsheets itself okay let's collapse this so that you can see spreadsheet number two that's number two there and right there those are the information that I've just added on spreadsheet number two and just before I call it the end of this tutorial, let me show you guys one thing. All of the spreadsheet that I created, you don't really need it. You only need one spreadsheet so that you can store your information on one spreadsheet. All you then need to do is just create, add more spreadsheets. Okay. So with that, guys, I'm going to call it the end of this very, very advanced tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoyed so I'm gonna say you all have a nice day now and bye for now bye